please support the Feraldred Army. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Meow. Hey everybody, I'm Olfus, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Riddler's Mana Worm. As you see here on the screen, it's a pretty badass mount just introduced to the game, and it was really cool how it was set up. It requires players to go through a riddle to unlock it and locate it, and there are like nine pages in total. So I can only imagine how hard it was for the first person to get this done, especially because all of the pages need to be read in a specific order. So let me show you right here where the first page is. Within the inn here at the back, you're going to find this bookshelf. And on this bookshelf, it, you're gonna find a note that says page nine. Reading this page will start your journey to getting the Riddler's Mind Worm. Let me show you the next place to go to next. It's in Duskwood. The second page can be found in Duskwood over by the Twilight Grove as seen here. You can make your way from Stormwind if you're an Alliance going through the portal in Dalaran, or if you're a Horde you could take the Zeppelin to Stranglethorn Vale and fly right on up. But the page can be seen right here sitting on this bench. Let me click it for you, and we will get a note that says First of Lords to Fall, which is Ragnaros. So we're going to head right on over to the Firelands, and I'll show you where the next page is. can be found in Ragnaros's chamber. So we're going to make our way up here and to the left, and over here on the ground. Over here... On the ground, you will find page number 161. Open this up. It says the wind and the eye. And now we have to make our way down to Oldham. I'm trying to get fucking sight of it. Man. Now I'm on a PvE server and it should be a lot easier because, uh, you know, as you saw, it's a little bit packed and uh, there's a lot of horde on the PvP server. Okay, so you might want to go onto a PvE server. The page can be found right here between these two trees. I will show you on the map really quick. Make this big. Boom. Right down here at the south side of Oldham. Right here between these palm trees. Pretty much the most southern point. Alright, let's go down there. We're going to take the portal from Dalaran to the Vale of Eternal Blossom for the next page, which is in the Siege of Orgrimmar. Alright, so in the Shah of Pride room, you're going to head over to this corner over here and you will find the page sitting on the ground in the corner and it says, in snow, sand, and stone. And we have to head to the Well of Eternity next. So once we come to Dalaran, we're going to make our way straight into the center. We're going to be taking the portal right here in the middle. And this will take us into the chamber of the guardian. After that, we're gonna run straight down these stairs all the way into the portrait room and down here where the portals are. And we will see a bunch of different portals. One is titled Caverns of Time. And this will take us straight into Tenaris to the Well of Eternity, which is where we need to go. So you can look at the map and you will see the Well of Eternity marked out once you get down into the Caverns of Time. We're gonna fly straight on in here you take the portal to the Well of Eternity, and the page is going to be up and along here, right where Burke is sitting. He is pointing out the pages to us. Thank you, Burke. Right here on the ground, you're going to find another page. Behold, the battle unblinking. And this is going to send us to the Shadow Pan Monastery in Kulai Summit. What's up, dude? So I definitely recommend doing this on a PvE server because as you can see, the server that I'm currently on, Darkspear, is a little hectic. But now that we've swapped servers, we can read this page, and guess what? We got another clue, Bejeweled the Watcher. We're gonna have to head right back on over to Oldham. I know, I know, we're having to hearth a lot, but let's get this going. We have a minute left, I'm gonna chill, and I'll see you guys in Oldham. The next page is in Oldham, outside of the Halls of Origination. You come out here, and right underneath this statue, you will see the page. Read it. And depending on the lag, there you go. And it says, Ray of Sunrise. And guess what, guys? We're going straight to Westfall. And look at here, we have a gift of the Mind Seekers. 
nice and lit up for us right here in Westfall. Check it out. We have the Riddler's Mind Worm, and that is just how easy it is to get this mount. Let me equip this and show you what it looks like right now, because I'm really excited. I'm gonna make everybody in the guild jealous. Oh man, showing up to raid night like this. Definitely need to get flying in Legion because I need to sport this thing. I think this is one of the cooler mounts they've brought out and I'm glad that they put it out in such a cool way. Put it out through like a little bit of a riddle. Like people had to actually spend time to figure out how to get this mount. And like there were people who were doing this before anybody else, before I had my guide and like, you know what? I love that Blizzard is implementing things like this because it is legit. Check that out. And it's actually a very nice looking mount too. I love it. Thank you, Blizzard. Well, thank you for checking out my video. I'm glad you guys stopped by and checked it out and did this with me. Now go out there, get your Riddler's Mind Worm, and let's ride into Legion together. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Feral Druid Army. Ooh! And special thanks to Burke for helping me out with getting this mount. He kind of showed me the way and he had me log on to his PvE server by inviting me to a group. If you have difficulties getting this mount, I would definitely recommend messaging a friend or somebody on your battle net or looking for a pre-made group in the pre-made group finder to try and find a group to get this mount on a PvE server because on PvP there are way too many Horde or Alliance just camping the place and it's impossible. 